गुड मॉर्निंग टू वन एंड ऑल टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू कॉन्सेप्ट वन पॉइंट थ्री स्क्वायर एंड स्क्वायर रूट्स सो इन दैट आई एम डिस्कसिंग यू दैट इन दिस वीडियो डिस्क्रिप्टिव क्वेश्चन एन सी आर टी ओके इन दैट फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन वी हैव दैट वाट विल बी द यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स वाट विल बी द यूनिट डिजिट ऑफ द स्क्वायर ऑफ द फॉलोइंग नंबर्स वी नीड टू फाइंड सो जस्ट to find the unit digit of a square of this number no need to do find the whole square of this number just the number is ends with which digit 3 so 3 square is how much 9 so that number this 3853 square 3853 square is ends with 9 only okay just we need to find the square of the unit digit number so that square of unit digit in that what is the unit digit That only ends with that number. Suppose next question we are take seven. If this number is ends with seven, so seven square is how much? Forty nine. So this number is ends with nine. Okay. And here, what is the unit digit we have? Eight. Eight square is ends with sixty four. So this fifty two thousand six hundred and ninety eight square is ends with four only. What is that? It ends with four. This number is ends with four. This number is ends with nine. This number is ends with nine. Okay. If you find the square of the unit digit, in that square, what is the unit digit? You can find. Okay. So that in this way we can simplify. Next question. Now I am going to discuss with you second question. Second question we have to find without adding. We need to find the sum here. Okay. So two here. We have the formula to find that sum without adding. That is. The sum of first n odd numbers equal to n square. How many numbers we have? N. So n numbers means n square. Suppose three numbers means three squares. First three odd natural numbers are there means three. We need to write three square. First four odd natural numbers means four square. First five odd natural numbers means five square. So in the first question, how many we have? One, two, three, four, five. So these are five first odd natural numbers we have. So this we can write as Five squared. Five squared equal to twenty-five. Yes. Here also, how many first n odd natural numbers we have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So ten first ten odd natural numbers we have. This we can write as ten squared. Okay. So ten squared is how much? Hundred. Okay. Similarly, here how many the sum of first n natural numbers we have? N odd natural numbers we have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. So twelve square. So this sum is becomes twelve square. Twelve square is which is equal to one forty four. Okay. So like this we are going to simplify. Okay. Next. Now I am going to discuss with you third question. Third question they given to us how many numbers lie between the squares of the following numbers. So how many numbers are there? So squares of these two between these two. Numbers. So we need to square up. We need to find square of these numbers. So square means twelve square. This square means thirteen square. So between these two, what are the numbers we have? So between these two means. So just we can write greatest number minus smallest number. So this we can write thirteen square minus twelve square. So between them, how many natural numbers we have? That means see here. So a this is in the form of a square minus b square. So if we already you studied in the algebraic expression, a square minus b square equal to a plus b into a minus b. So that is nothing but a. Your a is thirteen. Thirteen plus twelve into thirteen minus twelve. Thirteen minus twelve is how much? One. So thirteen plus twelve, twenty-five. So twelve, twenty-five into one, twenty-five. So how many natural numbers are there lying between the squares of twelve square and thirteen square? How many we have? Twenty-five. Natural numbers we have between twelve square and thirteen square. Similarly, twenty-five square and sixteen square. So that is twenty-five square between and twenty-six square. The number of the number of natural numbers equal to the number of natural numbers. The number of natural numbers lie between lies between. Twenty-five square and twenty-six square equal to twenty-six square minus twenty-five 
square. This we can write as a square minus b square. That is a plus b into a minus b. 26 plus 25 into 26 minus 25. 26 minus 25 is 1. So 26 plus 25, 51. So how many natural numbers lies between 25 square and 26 square? 51. Similarly, we can find the number of natural numbers. The number of natural numbers. Numbers lies between between 99 square and 100 square equal to we can write 100 square minus 99 square which is nothing but a 100 plus 99 a plus b into a minus b 100 minus 99 this we can write as 199 into 1 which is equal to 199 okay so if they asked we, we can if they ask the find the number of natural numbers the squares of the two conjugative natural numbers means so 12 and 13 these two are conjugative natural numbers 25 26 conjugative natural numbers 99 and 100 conjugative natural numbers so we can in that case the number of natural numbers between the squares of the two conjugative natural numbers is the sum of the numbers sum of the numbers sum of the numbers how much 12 plus 13 25 yes 25 plus 26 51 99 plus 100 199 the sum of the numbers if you add you will get okay this is for applicable for for conjugative natural numbers the squares of the conjugative natural numbers only if there suppose 99 and uh, 180 is the given means these two are not conjugative so you can use this formula only okay next next question find the squares of the following numbers they ask so we can find many ways Okay, already you know we can find the square of a number in column method, in diagonal method, and in Vedic maths also. You can find. I am going to explain the Vedic maths method. So 32 into 32. So which is so we need to make when you are multiplying with a two-digit number with a two-digit number, we need to make three boxes. Okay, first box two into two. This cross multiply, multiply two into two and write here four and here these two you can multiply and write this corner. 0, 9 and cross multiply 3 to the 6, 3 to the 6, 6 plus 6, 12. Now add 4, here 2, this one carries over, so 10, so 10, uh, 1024. So the square of 32 square is how much? 1024. Similarly, 86 square, so 86 into 86, 6, 6 is a 36, 88 is a 64, 6, 8 is a 48, 6, 8 is a 48, 48, 48. 96 okay 6 you can write here in this digit and the 3 is carry over to here 96 plus 3 99 9 is easier again 9 is carry over to here 64 plus 9 73 so 7396 is the square of 86 next 93 93 into 93 so 3 boxes 3 3 is a 9 9 9 is a 81 9 3 is a 27, 9 3 is a 27. 27 plus 27, 54. So now 9, 4, this 5 is carry out here, 86. 8649 is the square of 93. So 93 square equal to how much? 8649. And 86 square is equal to 7396. Okay. And similarly, 71 square equal to? So that is 71 into 71, that is, so 1 into 1, 1, 7, 7 is a 49. So 1 into 7, 7, 1 into 7, 7, 7, 7, 14. 1, 4, this 5 carry out to next number, so 50. So that is 5041 is the square of 71 square. Okay, so this is a way of finding the uh, square of a number by using Vedic Maths method. Next question. Now I am going to discuss with you. Fifth question we have that. Okay. Write a Pythagorean triplet whose one number is given. So one of the prime triplet they are given. So we need to find the remaining two sides. So Pythagorean triplet is nothing but a. So that is the three sides should be must be sides of the right angle triangle. Suppose if you know we know that is. If, the, if it is 5 this is 4 this is 3. So these three are the right angle triangles measures. Yes. So this 3 comma 4 comma 5 are the Pythagorean triplet. Those must to be right angle sides. 
okay right angle triangles sides okay here we have the formula for that m square plus okay the, these two sides m square plus 1 m square minus 1 and 2m so these three are the pythagorean triplet so where 2 m square plus 1 comma 2m comma m square minus 1 are pythagorean triplet where m is the positive natural number okay so you can compare the given one side one side is given given one side with any one of these two numbers i'm taking here m square i'm making equal this 6 is equal to any one of the side this side is m square plus 1 m square plus 1 equal to if you make 6 so m square is equal to 6 minus 1 then m square is equal to 5 so m is equal to root 5 will come but what is m m is a positive natural number is root 5 is natural number no so for this side we should not make equal this is not satisfying next second side you can take m equal to how much you can take 6 so if m is equal to 2 m is equal to 6 then m is equal to 6 by 2 2 1s are 2 3s are m is equal to how much 3 if m is equal to 3 is natural number or not yes so if m is equal to 3 substitute m is equal to 3 in each of the number so first number what we have m square plus 1 m square plus 1 is nothing but a 3 square plus 1 3 square is 9 9 plus 1 is how much 10 and uh, second number 2m we have already we have 6 which is 2m equal to 6 next number m square minus 1 m square is 3 square minus 1 so 3 square is 9 minus 1 8 so the three sides we have 6 comma 8 comma 10 are the Pythagoras triplet Pythagoras triplet okay so let us check for second sum also if you make this is m square plus 1 equal to 14 so m must be the positive number positive natural number so m square equal to 14 minus 1 which is equal to 13 m square equal to how much 13 m square equal to 13 then m is equal to root 13 yes m square equal to 13 means m is equal to root 13 so root 13 is not a positive natural number so you should not compare with this side second side you can take so 2m equal to 14 m is equal to 14 by 2 which is equal to 2 1s are m is equal to 7 if m is equal to 7 so we need to find so 2m equal to how much 14 one other side we know so remaining two sides m square plus 1 m square is so m is 7 7 square plus 1 so that is nothing but a 49 plus 1 49 plus 1 50 okay one side is 50 next m square minus 1 so that is nothing but a 49 minus 1 m square is 49 minus 1 48 what is the Pythagorean triplet that is 14 comma 48 comma 50 so these three are the Pythagorean triplet next 16th question so make m square plus 1 equal to 16 m square equal to 16 minus 1 so m square equal to 15 so m is equal to root 15 is root 15 is a natural number no so we should not make equal to m square plus 1 equal to 6 next number next side 2m 2m equal to 16 so m is equal to 16 by 2 so 2 1s are 2 8s are so m is equal to 8 remaining two sides were 2m equal to 16 one side we got remaining two sides m square plus 1 m square plus 1 means m is 8 square plus 1 so 8 square is 64 plus 1 equal to 65 okay and the next m square minus 1 m square minus 1 is nothing but a 8 square minus 1 that is nothing but 8 square is 64 64 minus 1 63 what is the Pythagorean triplet of this that is uh, 16 comma 63 comma 65 these three are the Pythagorean triplet 8 you can take so 18 so if you make uh, 18 is equal to m squared plus 1 equal to 18 then m is equal to m square equal to 18 minus 1 it is nothing but a 17 will come m square is 17 then m is equal to root 17 is root 17 is a natural number no we should not compare like this next number 2m 2m equal to 18 then m is equal to 9 m is equal to 9 we can write directly so then m is equal to 9 remaining two sides m square plus 1 that is nothing but a 9 square plus 1 which is equal to 81 plus 1 82 okay 
नेक्स्ट एम स्क्वायर माइनस वन नाइन स्क्वायर माइनस वन विच इज इक्वल टू एटी वन माइनस वन एटी द पाइथागोरस ट्रिपलेट उस वन ऑफ द साइड इज एटीन आर एटीन कामा एटी टू कामा एटी ओके एटीन कामा एटी टू कामा एटी सो लाइक दैट वी कैन चेक वी कैन if this also you can say this not satisfy next side sometimes 2m also will not satisfy you can take the make the one of the side you can make to this side make equal to this side so likewise we are going to simplify i am going to discuss with you sixth question we have that find the squares square roots of 100 and 169 by the method of repeated subtraction so we need to find the square root of 100 and uh, square root of 169 by using the repeated subtraction so we need to do how to do the repeated subtraction we need to do subtract okay that first first odd number odd numbers we are going to in this every step we are going to do one one subtraction yes see let us see here first what is the first in odd prime num odd na odd number first odd natural number 1 So one we need to subtract first. Hundred minus one, ninety nine. Next add three. So ninety nine minus three, ninety six. Next add nine uh, five. Ninety six minus five, ninety one. Next add likewise. If you do the subtraction, ninety one minus seven, eighty four. Eighty four minus next add number nine. Eighty four minus nine, seventy five. So seventy five minus next add eleven. Seventy five minus eleven, sixty four. Sixty four minus next add thirteen. Sixty-four minus thirteen, fifteen. So fifteen minus next odd number, fifteen. Fifty-one minus fifteen equal to thirty-six. Thirty-six minus seven. Next odd number, seventeen. Thirty-six minus seventeen, nineteen. Nineteen minus nineteen, zero. Up to so we are we got we did the subtraction up to to yield the get zero. Okay, we need to get up to we get the zero. We did the subtraction. How many subtractions are involved in this? Num in this process, how many number of subtractions we did to get zero? So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten subtractions. Ten subtractions we did. Then square root of hundred is we can say that ten. How many subtractions are are involved to get zero? Those the number of subtractions are called. Square root of the given number. Next, square root of one sixty nine. So we need to subtract one sixty nine minus one one sixty eight one sixty eight minus three one sixty five one sixty five. Next prime number, next odd number five three after five one sixty five minus five one sixty one sixty minus next odd seven one sixty minus seven one fifty three. So one fifty three minus next odd nine seven after nine one fifty three minus nine. One forty four. One forty four minus next odd eleven. One forty four minus eleven. One hundred and thirty three. One hundred and thirty three minus eleven after next next eleven eleven after odd number thirteen. So one thirty three minus thirteen one twenty. One twenty minus next odd fifteen. One twenty minus fifteen one hundred five. One hundred five minus next odd seventeen, which is equal to one hundred five minus seventeen equal to eighty eight. Eighty eight minus next odd nineteen. Eighty-eight minus nineteen, sixty-nine. Sixty-nine minus next odd twenty-one. Sixty-nine minus twenty-one equal to forty-eight. Forty-eight minus twenty-three next odd twenty-three. Forty-eight minus twenty-three twenty-five. Next twenty-five minus next odd twenty-five. We got zero. Yes. So if it is how many subtractions we did to get zero are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. How many subtractions we did? Thirteen. So square root of one sixty nine is thirteen. So in this process, like this also, we can find the square root. But this process is a very lengthy process. We have another methods to get the square root of a number. So so we need to know this method also, so that we have this question. Okay. Now I am going to discuss with you seventh question. Is that we need to find the square root of the following numbers by using the prime factorization. So we know that is how to do the prime factorization. Let us see. So prime factorization. First we need to divide it two tables. 
okay so 2 eights are 16 2 eights are 16 2 2 is a 4 next 2 4 is a 2 4 is a 2 1 is a next 3 table if we, this is not even number next next you can take 3 3 is also prime number 3 1 is a 3 1 4 14 3 4 is a 12 2 1 7 21 3 7 is a 21 next again 3 table 3 4 is a 12 okay 2 7 3 9 is a 27 next 7 into 7 okay right here so 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 so 2 into 2 into 3 into 3 into 7 into 7 so we can make from each similar pair one digit from every pair each similar prime factors okay the pair of the similar prime factors we need to take one one factor so from two sevens one seven we need to take from three threes we need to take one prime number one three from two twos we need to take one two so that is two into three into seven two threes are six six into seven forty two what is the square root of the, therefore the square root of one thousand seven hundred and sixty four equal to forty two okay similarly let us see for second question prime factorization 4096 so 220 is a 24 is a 28 is a okay so 210 is a 22 is a 24 is a next 25 is a 21 is a 22 is a 256 is a 256 is a 128 is a 264 is 232s next 2 16 is 2 8 is 2 4 is 2 2 is and 2 into 1 so how many prime numbers we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so 12 prime numbers 1 2 into ok so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So from every two similar factors, we need to take one factor. So from these two, 1, 2. 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 So how many twos? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 2, 2 is a 4. 4, 2 is a 8. 8, 2 is a 16. 16, 2 is a 32 32 to the 64 so therefore the square root of 4096 equal to 64 this is equal to 64 will come okay next 9604 9604 see divide in the two table 2 4 the 2 8 the 0 2 2 the next again 2 table 2 2 is a 2 4 is a 2 0 1 next 7 table you can take 7 4 is a 7 3 is a 21 3 0 7 4 is a 28 2 1 7 3 is a 21 next 7 table 7 7 4 is a 28 here 6 3 7 9 is a 63 next 7 7 is a so from every two similar factors we need to take one so 2 into 2 into 7 into 7 into 7 into 7 so two, from every two similar factors we need to take one number so from these two we can take two from these two we can seven from these two one number so 2 into 7 into 7 7 7 is a 49 49 into 2 98 therefore the square root of 9604 equal to 98 the square root of 9604 equal to 98. Next, 5929 square root of. So, 2 table it won't cancel. 3 table, sum of the digits 7 plus it will. 3 table also no. 5 table also no. 7 table, 7 table also it won't cancel. You can take, uh, check 7 table. 7 ones are 7, 8 is a 56. 3, 2, 7, 4 is a 3, 32, so 7, 4 is a 28, 4, 9, 7, 7 is a 49, yes, 7 table, next, 7, 1 is a 7, 
7 2 is a 14, 7 1 is a 7. Next 11 into 11. So that is which is equal to 7 into 7, 11 into 11. So from every two similar factors, we can take one number. 7 into 11. So that is equal to 77. Therefore, square root of 9, 5,229 equal to how much? 77. Okay. So like the, like the Likewise, we are going to find the square root of a number by using the prime factorization. Now, we are going to discuss the eighth question. For each of the following numbers, find the smallest whole number by which it should be multiplied as to get a perfect square number. Also, find the square root of the square number so obtain. So, these are not a perfect square. So, by which number if you multiply these numbers, those becomes a perfect numbers they are asking. So, for this type of questions, we should, if, if the number is multiplied, by which number if you multiply, the given number become a perfect square or by which, which, by which number if you multiply, uh, by which number if you divide the given number, so that it becomes a perfect square. This type of questions, we should use perfect uh, prime factorization method. Okay. Multiplied or divide. Okay. For this type of questions, we should use prime factorization method. See here. So, do the prime factorization here, yeah, 252, so 2 1s are, 2 2 is a 4, 2 6 is a, next, 2 6 is a, 2 3 is a, next, 7 9 is a, 3 3 is a, so here, yeah, 2 into 2 and uh, 7 into 3 into 3. So, to find a square, to, if, the, if it is a perfect square, to find a square root, so we should take from every two similar factors, one number. So, what is the number, what is the prime number is alone we have? 7. If you multiply with 7 this number, it become a perfect square, yes? 7. So, this become a pair. So, in a perfect square, the prime factorization of the perfect, perfect number should be the Factor should be the pair. The all prime factor should be in the pair form. Pair will be. Here this 7 is alone. To make a pair, we need to multiply with 7. Yes. So then it becomes a perfect square. Okay. Therefore, if you multiply, if, if 257 is multiplied, multiplied with 7, then it is become a, then it is become a, perfect number perfect square perfect square perfect square number okay so if it is multiplied 252 into 7 so it is 7 to the 14 and 7 5 is 35 36 7 to the 14 14 plus 1 7 17 64 is the perfect square number so if it is a square number square if it is a square square root means 2 into 3 into 7. So that is square root of 764 equal to 2 into 7 into 3. From every two similar factors, we can take one. 2 7s are 14. 14 3 is a 42. So 42 is the perfect square root of the number obtained when multiplied with 7. For 1008, you can take 3 table. 3 3s are 9, 1 0. 3 3s are 9, 1 8, 3 6 are. Next to 3 table, 3 ones are, 3 ones are, 3 twos are. Next 2 table, 2 fives are, 2 six are. Next 2 table, 2 twenty-eights are, 2 fourteens are, 2 sevens are. Okay, so write that numbers. So 3 into, 3 into, 2 into, 2 into, 2 into, 2 into, 7. So make a pairs. This is pair we have. These two numbers also pair. These two numbers also pair. Again here, we are also in this 7 is left over alone. So to make a pair, we need to multiply with 7. So therefore, so therefore, if you multiply with 7, if you multiply, multiply 1008 with 7, okay, it becomes a perfect square. It becomes a perfect square. Okay, it becomes a perfect square that is nothing but a year. So, if it is a perfect square, what will be that number? 1008 into 
7 means this is equal to 7 8 is a 56 5 so 7 into 0 0 5 7 into 0 0 7 1 the 7 7056 now square root of 7056 equal to this 3 into 2 into 2 into 7 3 to the 6 6 to the 12 12 7 the 84 the square root of 7056 is 84 similarly 768 prime factors so now 2 3 the 1 6 2 8 the 2 4 the next 2 table 2 1 the 2 9 the 2 2 the again 2 table 2 9 the 18 so 2 6 the again 2 table 2 4 the 2 8 the next 2 24 the 2 12 the 2 6 the 2 3 the write that prime factor 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 so 2 okay so into 2 into so we have 8 2 and 1 3 is left over so 3 have no pair okay it is alone we have so we need to multiply with 3 so to make a pair we need to multiply with 3 so if therefore if you multiply if you multiply if you multiply 768 with 3 with 3 it becomes a it becomes a perfect square it becomes a perfect square then it is becomes 768 into 3 which is equal to 3 8 is 24 3 6 are 3 6 is 18 18 plus 2 20 so 3 7 is 21 so that is 21 2104 so it is square root of 2104 equal to 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 3 so 16 3 is a 9 16 3 is a 48 48 is a square root of 2104 okay next question see next we have 1458 do the frame for the 1458 2 7s 2 2s 2 9s 729 3 table 3 2s 6 4 3 4s 12 3 3s again 3 double 3 81s 3 27s 3 9s 3 3s how many 3s you have 1 2 3 4 5 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. That is 3, 2 into 3 into 3 into. Okay. Here 3 have pair. This has pair. This is. Here 2 is alone. We have. So to make a pair, we need to multiply with 2. So therefore, if you multiply, if you, if you multiply 1458 with 2, so it becomes a perfect square it becomes a perfect square okay it becomes a perfect square so then it is so 1458 into 2 so it becomes 2 8 is a 16 2 5 is a 10 11 2 4 is a 8 8 plus 1 9 2 1 is a 2 so 2000 916 is that number so square root of 2916 equal to so from this pair 2 so 2 we are already we multiplied so 2 into 3 into 3 into 3 so 3 3 is 27 into 2 54 so square root of 54 square root of 2916 is 54 is the answer okay now i am going to discuss with you ninth question that okay so ninth question we have for each of the following numbers find the smallest whole number by divided which it be which which it should be divided by as to get a perfect square also find the square root of the square number so obtain okay so these numbers are not a perfect square by which smallest number if you divide the given numbers it becomes a perfect square they are saying okay in the previous question only i said that 
if it is a smallest number divided by or smallest number multiplied by the given number is a it become a fermatic square means we need to do the prime factorization yes you are also same thing we need to do we are going to do prime factorization only see here so 2925 okay here yeah. so 5 4 is a 5 5 is a 25 here 4 is there 2 5 8 is a 40 5 5 is a 25 next 5 1 is a 5 1 is a 5 5 7 is a 35 next three table you can take three threes are nine three nines are three nines are twenty seven next three thirteens are okay now write is it here five into five write the five prime factorization here five into five into three into three into thirteen okay so in a perfect square the every prime factor is in the pairs yes so here you can make a pair, this is in the pair, yes, this two are in the pair. So this is unpaired we have. So if you eliminate this number, the remaining number is the perfect square, yes. If you remove this 13, so it become a perfect square. So to remove what we have to do here, divide by 13. If you divide, okay, if you divide, divide 2095 with 13, it becomes then it becomes a perfect square then it becomes a perfect square it becomes a perfect square okay so then if you divide what is that number becomes 25 into 9 that is 600 25 into 600 25 into 9 so 25 so the 225 will come so 225 if you divide, so 5 into, that is 2,925 by 13, if you divide, so it becomes 25 nines are 225. So 225 will come. So square root of 225 is 15. So 3 into 5, this 5 and 3 only we need to take because 13 is eliminated. So that is equal to square root of 225 is how much? 13. Similarly, we are going for this also. 396 prime factorization 3 ones are 3 threes are 3 twos are next two table 2 2 six are 12 2 six are next two threes are threes are next three eleven are prime factorization you can write so this similar numbers together right 2 into 2 and 3 into 3 we have two threes yes one is what is the left over what is a single prime factor we have 11 okay so 11 has unpaired number. So we can eliminate this unpaired number, then it becomes a perfect square. So if you divide, eliminate means we should divide. If you divide, if you divide 396 with 11, then it becomes a perfect square. Then it becomes a perfect square. Okay, so now it becomes C here. So if it is divided by 11 means 396 by 11 equal to 2 to the 4, 4, 9 to the 36. Okay, so 30, square root of 36 is 6 only. Okay, next number. So prime factorization of 2800, that is 2 1400s, 2 700s, 2 350s. 2 5 3s 5 3s are 15 and uh, 2 5 5s are next 5 7s are so do the write the prime factorization 2 into 2 into 2 into 2 into 5 into 5 into 7 okay see you so make a pairs the unpaired number 7 so unpaired number if you divide means then it becomes a perfect square so if you divide if you divide 2800 with 7 then it becomes a then it becomes a perfect square becomes a perfect square so then if it is divide 2800 by 7 so it becomes 400 will come so square root of 400 is 
square root of 400 equal to 20. Okay, next number. So, find the equation you can do here. 1620 that is 2 8s are 2 1s are 0. Next 2 4s are 2 5s are. Next 5 tables. 5 8s are 5 1s are. 3 27 are. 3 9s are. 3 3 are. Find the equation 2 into 2 into 5 into 3 into 3 into 3 into 3. Make pairs. This is pair. 5 is unpaired. These two pairs, these two pairs. What is the unpaired number we have? 5. So, unpaired number if you eliminate, that is if you divide means with our unpaired number, if you divide the given number, it becomes a perfect square number. So, if we divide, if we divide, divide 1620 with 1620 with uh, 5, then it, become, then it becomes a perfect square. Then it becomes a perfect square. Okay, so what is that? 1620 by 5 means, so it becomes, so 9, 9, so 81 into 4, that is 324, 324. So square root of 324 equal to, that is 80. Now I am going to discuss with you 10th question. So the 10th question they given to us are is, 20, 2025 plants are to be planted in a garden in a such a way that each row contains as many plants as the number of rows. Okay, find the number of rows and uh, the number of plants in each row. Okay, suppose for before going to this discuss this question, suppose in a in a classroom there are five rows are there in each row six members are there. So the total strength of the class means how many or what we have to do the number of rows into the number in a row the number number of students in each row so 6 into 5 we will get 30 in the similarly they didn't give the number of rows and number of rows but the relation between the the number of rows and the number of trees in each row they given the relation between the number of rows and the the number of trees in each row the relation is given to us so, the, if there is how many rows are there, in each row that many trees are there is said. So, we don't know the number of rows and the number of trees in each row. Let us assume that, let the number of rows R be X. Okay. So, let the number of rows, number of rows R be X. Number of rows R be X. Then the number of trees in each row, the number of, then the number of trees in each row, the number of trees in each row equal to, how many trees will be, there are x trees only, because there is the same number of rows and the same number of trees in each row, okay. So then total number of trees in a garden equal to, total number of trees in a garden equal to how many trees are there given to us 2025 that is nothing but a, how we are going to calculate the total number of trees the total number of rows into in each row the number of trees yes so that is nothing but a number of rows into number of trees in each row the number of trees in each row so that is equal to we will get 2025 that number of rows how much x x into number of trees in each row also x x into x equal to 2025 x into x how much x square equal to 2025 then x is equal to square root of 2025 square root of 2025 is how much just you can find the square root so 2025 make a bar use the long division so here 4 for the 16 so now we are 4 and 25 and I 4 plus 4, 8. So 85 into 5, so that is 425 we will get. So what is the square, square root of the 225? 45. So that is therefore the number of trees, the number of rows and uh, number of 
the number of rows equal to how much? Number of rows in a garden equal to garden equal to 40, 45 and the number of trees in each row equal to number of trees in each row equal to 45. Okay. So, this is the process to find and in this video I discussed with you 1 to 10 descriptive questions. Okay. Watch the video and share to your friends and subscribe the channel. Thank you.